Hey, I just thought we would check in today and make another recipe for you. This one is inspired because look at these chips. Can you see what these are? Oh my goodness, let me tell you what these are. They are sea salt caramel filled baking truffles. Are you kidding me? They're like little chocolate candies with caramel inside. Here, I'll show you. Look at, can you see this? It's like a little C's candy, like a little candy thing with caramel inside. Are you kidding me? I was like, oh, we're gonna have to go home and try these out and make some cookies. Of course, you see I had to open them because we had to try them. So we're just gonna do a basic cookie dough, um, standard cookie dough here. I already have two sticks of butter in the mixer and I'm gonna use a 16 ounce bag or a one pound box, depending on how your store has it. They used to be boxes, but now they're just bags. So one box of brown sugar, dark brown, I prefer light brown's fine too, whatever you have, um, or just the bag, 16 ounces of brown sugar. Dump that on in there. Then I'm gonna do three quarters of a cup of white sugar. Let me grab a cup right here. I prefer the sugar that's in these pour cont containers. It's a little finer, but it's just easier to deal with and easier to store. You just pour it in. So I'm just gonna do three quarters of a cup of white sugar, and then we're just gonna mix that real quick. A little, a little too quick. Bring that together. Just dump this real quick. together because he doesn't love cookies, especially the chocolate chip or sea salt caramel candy chip. Hello, yum! Of course, I'm of the mind that whatever you like in your cookies is good to go. I like nuts in mine, coconut, um, oatmeal, whatever. The more things in the cookies, the better. They're these great cookies that are at a bakery downtown here that are called everything cookies and they literally have everything in the cookies so oatmeal coconut nuts i think they have pretzels chocolate chips oh my gosh they're so good so i just added two eggs and i'm going to add um, a, a hefty teaspoon of vanilla mostly because I love vanilla. So we will do a generous teaspoon overflowing of that. Put that in there. So we've got, again, two sticks of butter, 16 ounces or one box of dark brown sugar, three quarters of a cup of white sugar, two eggs, a heaping teaspoon of vanilla, and give that a whirl. how when you use real, but real butter for recipes, it gets real light when you whip it. Um, of course, you could use margarine or other things for this, but nothing's quite the same as real butter in your cookies. So now I'm going to put two cups, maybe two and a quarter cups. I just usually eyeball the dough and see what it looks like. Kind of depends on the temperature and the climate, exactly how much flour you need to put in. Um, but I'm going to start with two cups of flour and then see how it looks and that's just from years and years of doing it if they come out too thin when you make them this these cookies tend to be thin because that's how i like them um they come out a little thin they're not fat and chewy so if you like them fat and chewy you probably want to add um, a little more flour than this so to that i'm going to add one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking soda I know most recipes tell, tell, to, to tell you to mix the dry ingredients first, but I'm just going to mix them right in the bowl. Sprinkle it around so it's mixed. Measuring salt is just a pain with this kind of salt. So about the crook of my hand is about a teaspoon. So we're just going to throw that in. Mix that up. who doesn't love cookies and we're all at home and sound like we're going to be home for a while 
so we better have some cookie dough on hand, wouldn't you think? I think so. What's your favorite kind of cookie? Like I said, I like cookies with more things in it the better. So, but then again, there's always room for, you know, lemon bar or a classic sugar cookie is always good. Yum. Okay, let's put these beautiful things in here. Since they are like little candies and they're filled with caramel, I'm gonna go very gentle on the mixer. I probably should fold these in by hand, but I'm not going to. So we're just gonna give those a quick little spin. So they're incorporated in there. And then that's it. We have classic cookie dough with sea salt caramel filled baking truffles. I mean, yum. So this recipe is totally inspired by this bag and we will see how they turn out, but I have a feeling they're gonna be delicious. So let me know what other recipes you wanna try and we will try them, happy to. Thanks for watching and we will see you soon. Oh my goodness, it is that time. The dinger just went off, so you know what that means. We have cookies! Oh my gosh! I just made a few because we don't want to have too many warm chocolate chip cookies around here. Ooh, but look how beautiful they turned out. Can you see them? Yummy! So they have these yummy sea salt caramel chips, and they came out just beautiful. So wish you were here. Smell a vision alive and well. Yummy. I'm gonna taste one. Ooh, a little too hot. I'm sure they're delicious. Thanks for watching.